Here we see a well-circumscribed tumor composed of uh, mature uniform adipocytes. The tumor has a very thin, inconspicuous, fibrous capsule, and uh, we can see small amount of blood vessels and capillaries. It has slightly lobular appearance, and on higher magnification we can see uh, quite uniform fat cells or adipocytes. Only some of these adipocytes have visible nuclei here, here, and here. Well, of course, all of these uh, cells have nuclei, but uh, we are looking at the cut section, so only the nuclei localized in the level of the cut are visible. The cells have clear voluminous cytoplasm. The cytoplasm of these cells originally contained a lot of lipids, but uh, they were washed out uh, during the process of fixation and dehydration. If we want to visualize the lipids inside of these cells, we need to do, uh, we need to do the frozen section and uh, we need to stain the slide uh, with specific stain like oil red or sudden black, which stains the lipids. The small capillaries are typically not associated with thrombosis. Unlike in angiolipoma, where these capillaries are much more prominent, we always need to exclude a typical lipomatous tumor or well-differentiated liposarcoma. Some of these tumors can look very bland and it is very easy to miss them. Atypical lipomatous tumors uh, usually contain variably thickened fibrous septi with atypical stromal cells, but some of them can be quite inconspicuous, so we need to look for them. There are no fibrous septi with atypical cells in this tumor. The cells are quite uniform. All of them have approximately the similar diameter. And we see no lipoblast with bubbly cytoplasm and indented atypical nuclei. So this is a classical example of a benign lipoma, a very common tumor. Most of these tumors are superficial, uh, but some of them can sometimes infiltrate skeletal muscles, and those are called intramuscular lipomas. The differential diagnosis includes atypical lipomatous tumor, as we already mentioned, but also spindle cell lipoma, myxoid liposarcoma, hibernoma, and also dysplastic lipoma, which is a recently described entity characterized by uh, adipocytes, which are not very uniform. Some of them are large, some of them are very small. So we need to be careful about that. Thanks for watching.